in the previous episodes of Life is Strange. Whoa. We called film Little Pieces of Time. Because Max wants everybody to see I'm how so sick of people trying to control me! Don't ever touch me again, freak! It totally makes sense. You hell saved my life. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. And there she is. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Let's talk about your superpower. Hey, Stelm and Louise. You're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? You want me to cut you, bitch? Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Please, get me out of here! Nobody cares about me. That was a close Nobody. One. Oh my god. What are you doing here, Max? Now I know today was difficult for everybody. Miss Coffee, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Please tell us everything. What the hell is this? Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. Impact the past, present, and future. Chaos Theory Uh, I got a hamster? Or was that a guinea pig? In gear? I knew Chloe would be all over this. So I better get moving. Keep calm and carry on. How did Sherlock Holmes deduce anything without the internet? Had the meeting as a waste a second exploiting Kate. Now she has another video of herself all over the web. And even I'm in this one. Oh, at least the news didn't mention my name yet. Unidentified student. Hmm. Besides Rachel, it's been a while since anybody vanished from Arcadia Bay. I shouldn't sound so disappointed. I sure hope these people treat her better when she comes back to school. If she does. Man. I really turned a molehill into a mountain. I feel bad for Mr. Jefferson about this. Either I delete my page or I block everybody. Nowhere to hide these days. Hero. Everybody will be talking about Kate now. Blackwell might as well shut down for the next month. First I saved Chloe, then Kate, and now you, Lisa. <laughs> Not a bad record for a week. Hey, Bunny. 
Kate will be it's back a bunny. soon, and until then, I'll be catering to your every whim. Aww, let's feed it. Are you a hungry bunny? Here, nosh on this. Nosh. There's been so much going on, I almost forgot about the eclipse. All this atmospheric action can't be a coincidence. And all roads are leading to my tornado vision. I've been in the dark. Jeebus, I am so freaking tired. I sound like a moron. But crime does not delay. I need to stay on top of this investigation. No way can I clean that shit off. Time to get Samuel Da Vinci to repaint. Unfortunate. Ew. Thanks for the image, Nathan. And everybody here thinks Samuel is a creeper? Hmm. You know you're hurting when you don't give a shit about music. Yeah. It's amazing how happy Kate looks here compared to today. Does she, she basically pushed up to that roof, and I will use my power to find out why. This has to end. <laughs> Everybody doesn't look happy at all in this photo. Let me just switch this off. Don't want to disturb the bunny. Oh my god, it's so dark. Okay, this is scary dark. Mm -hmm. Let there be light. Oh my god, flashlight? Come on. Hey, can you come Dana's in really room? hurting over this. All right, let's talk to Dana. Dana looks guilty and relieved about Kate. She really does care. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? Better than Kate. I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide. Whew. I knew she was depressed, but I had no idea how bad. Must be serious to throw yourself off the roof. Yeah. So why do you think she was on the roof in the first place? Maybe Kate was so ashamed she got wasted on that video. I don't blame her, but it was pretty gross. Come on, you really believe that Kate Marsh wanted to get drunk at a Vortex Club party? So what exactly are you saying, Max? I know she Jefferson got framed by the principal. Do you think they're involved? It's complicated. I don't want to drag you into this, okay? Not yet, anyway. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Where are they going? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherlock? <laughs> Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. Dana clearly doesn't mind if I peruse her laptop. Aw, Trevor is a sweetie. Good for Dana. <laughs> yeah, he's sweet. If Dana talks to Juliet about this, she's gonna wish she didn't. That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. Oh, oh, Victoria here. isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. Really? That's a depressing oh, thought. And it's always about Victoria. What do we have? 
sense of Victoria is about as straight as me. But she really appreciates style. A unique point of view is right. Thanks to Courtney Wagner ghostwriting this paper. Oof. Whoa, I had no idea Victoria's parents owned the chase space. Color me impressed. There has to be some dirt in here on Victoria. Well, well. Victoria and Taylor actually show remorse. Drink the cake. That's a lot of bank just to clean paint from a sweater. Victoria's secret, she's a geek. That's a lot of bank just to clean paint from a sweater. Here they are getting loaded with Satan. Well, there's nothing really bad about Victoria. I'll title this one, Portrait de la Assholes. Whoa, there's Kate. Totally high. She looks confused. Not like she's partying. Like she left her body. <laughs> Simba. These socks cost more than my wardrobe. Wow. Nothing to see here. I guess I shouldn't be so bummed. Not that Victoria couldn't hide her shit. Man, I'm getting paranoid. I hope you burn bright again soon, Kate. Do they really need that crap on the door? Kate's still alive. Incredible. Taylor is utterly shameless. <laughs> All right, let's go. So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. I feel so giddy, even after Kate almost jumped. Maybe it's the leftover adrenaline. Yeah. But I feel kind of invincible now. Full moon. You have to be stealthier than that. She You're not supposed to be outside your dormitory at this hour. You know that. Uh, I'm sorry, Principal Wells. I'm still tense after I thought Kate was going to jump today. I just needed some air and space to walk. No, no explanations. Seeing Kate come up on that roof, then seeing her come down with you, you saved her ass. <laughs> Maybe save Blackwell. Now don't get cocky. Going back inside. You earned good dreams. If you say so. Great. So how do I get past him to meet Chloe?
Ooh, superhero suit. Planet of Apes. Blackwell almost lost another student. I wish Kate Marsh would just skip town. Now I have to deal with more pissed off entitled parents who want to blame me for their mistakes. Cheers. Smart son of a bitch has me trapped. <laughs> well, I guess I have just rewind. Oh, great. He saw me. Maybe I could sneak by when he was trying to open the door. Max the ninja strikes again. <laughs> ah, fuck. Booyah! Oh my god. Get it? Boo, yeah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. More like a scary punk asshole. Hey, Chloe, I didn't exactly have the greatest day trying to keep my friend from jumping off the roof. I don't think I need you to prank me tonight, okay? Sorry, but you absolutely balls to the walls did save your friend. <sighs> Kate saved Hello. herself. I couldn't even use my power. My head felt like it was being crushed. And then I had no clue what to say to her on that roof. Don't be so modest, Rockstar. Kate is alive because of you. You obviously said the right thing, and your badass power is gonna save us all. We just need to connect the plays. And find out who almost killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? <sighs> Didn't you say that it was all about chaos theory? I don't see any control over this chaos. Oh, right. Except for your ability to... Oh, yeah. Manipulate time and space? No biggie. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Mr. Jefferson in trouble. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? Uh... <laughs> Okay, what about, uh, Rachel? We need to find out more about who Rachel was involved with around here. She was able to blend in with everybody. Even with people I hated. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Kicking it in Los Angeles? That would be the best case scenario. She wouldn't leave without me, okay? And how often do missing girls turn up? We have to find Rachel soon. We have to. It's been a month, I promise though. you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, step prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just... I don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Insert groan here. Thank you again so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted, Ooh. as you know. It's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. 
Thank you, Victoria. I'm glad it had a relatively happy ending. I don't know what I would have done if Katie jumped. Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? The contest will go on. I just won't be representing Blackwell at the event this year, thanks to Max, who claims I enabled Kate Marsh's trouble by merely listening to her. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria. I won't be going to San Francisco, remember? You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. <sighs> this conversation is officially Black over, mail. Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... Yeah, you said to turn off, Victoria. Are you fucking kidding me? When I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. She's just desperate. Let's go find out. Breaking into the school. Chloe the Keymaster. You know it. Dude. I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. Not to mention the weed you brought into my room. Joking. I'm serious. <laughs> We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? They can't charge us for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. But my powers didn't save Kate. Maybe I did on my own. Come on. Your powers One did door save and our work Kate. Done. Stop time. You slowed down time. What's in here? It's so creepy. But thankfully, I have Chloe with me. Security officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit, like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking, thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. <laughs> well, you could look for the key, just in case. Why, yes, I could. <laughs> Be in here. Nothing here. In here? Dead end. I mean, I guess. Boring. It won't be in the drawers, but wouldn't hurt to check. Crap. <laughs> Alright, let's think. Uh, yeah. Only a total phony would wear a crappy hat like that. Okay, here. Here are the keys. <sighs> None for the principal's office. No key for thee. We have to find another way in. Guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank. But I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. What is it? Hey, Warren. Warren? You busy? Just bubble hearth. You'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kind of know how? Huh? No, I'm just asking for fun. <laughs> Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, 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 stay. 
We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. Yes, I'm still all in to go ape with you at the drive-in. Thanks for the hope. Oh, Chloe a little jealous there? This sucks ass. Goddamn door. Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? What's I'm that? <laughs> Can you stay here like and not get chemistry caught? Experiment. I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. Not gonna be a long god. Um What's happening? So it's uh sugar, a soda can, duct tape, sodium chloride. And then you what is that? Oh, the lighter and the duct tape. What the? Just the powder used to create chlorine dioxide. Gotta wrap the tape around the lighter. Oh, you kind of stick it to, uh you stick it to the i guess that's what it is all right now let's Warren go is such a classic nerd let's see if i can find those items wait sugar yeah <laughs> just because she said release the crack hand can you take it it's all mine anyway okay only Got three more items to go uh <laughs> So we got that we got sugar and a soda can. No, we got a soda can. <laughs> no sugar. Where can we find sugar and duct tape? Sugar, sugar. No trophy will help Blackwell's reputation now. Can't go here. I don't want to go to the bathroom. It's scary. <laughs> That formal and smell. Only a B minus? Warren has shattered my faith. Of course, I'm barely passing science. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Got sugar right there. Ooh, sugar. You're halfway home, Max. What now? Did you blow up? Biology. Oh, gross. <laughs> periodic table. A periodic table. Wish I knew what periodic means. I never said they were great. Troll. Shitty selfies. So, sodium chloride is a weed killer. You'd think Warren would have told me that factoid. So... 
I won't be able to find it around here. Do I have to go to like... You're an artist, damn it, not a scientist. But this is so not sodium there chloride. You go. Here's the sodium chloride box. You know you're clumsy, Max. Don't <laughs> waste your rewind power. Use the damn chair. Clumsy Max. Got that, and, and one more I saw the left. cigarette on the skeleton, skeleton there. Ew, gross. At least switch to e-cigs. E-cigs are worse, Max. They're worse. Hey, he's the grammar. All right. Um, where can I find a lighter? I need a lighter, right? Oh, this text from mum. We're very proud, so milk this moment. All right, let's go back to the text. So it's we got sugar, sugar can. We need duct tape. No, where can I find duct tape? Like in my class, maybe. Art class. This is like a scene in a horror film. Tell me about it. Where can I find a duct tape though? Cigarette pack. Victoria's cigarettes? <laughs> I'm sure Mr. Jefferson is impressed. <laughs> the tape is mine. Yeah, it makes it so innocent, that's true. Now it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. Ah, literally. All right, right, let's go, let's go. Ah. Wait, maybe she's gonna say something about this. I feel silly thinking of myself as an everyday hero for helping Kate. But it's cool that other people do. Now if I could only find Rachel. Take Pipe it easy bomb. on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom! Literally. Yes! Time to blow shit up! If you'll light the candle. This is so cool! Get ready to haul ass. <laughs> oh, wow. That was so fucking cool! Oh, we are toast! Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? Let's still go in though, no? We can't. Ah! Shit, shit! Do something, Max. Alright, come on! Oh shit. Oh shit, I went too far. Well, I'm in here already. What am I looking for, by the way? Oh, I'm already in here. Oh my god, that's so cool. Welcome to my domain. <gasps> you are magic. I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company that was so cool. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. 
My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money, but no taste. <laughs> All the money, but no taste. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. No. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be at Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. <laughs> this is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. I can't see. Oh, there you go. I was about to say. This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. Hmm. Diverse Religious Studies Group has been a welcome addition to the wide range of student-led spiritual programs at Blackwell. She also has one of the best attendance records in the school's history. Principal Wells, as the school nurse, I should inform you that Kate Marsh appears to have experienced some recent emotional or physical trauma. I spoke to her briefly and she was upset but vague and refused to talk further with me. I think it's important that we keep our eyes on her and make sure she's not under duress from other classmates and it's my suspicion. As is my suspicion and Marie Branchy. At present time there is a security investigation into a controversial video allegedly featuring Kate Marsh at a Vortex Club party that has been uploaded onto the internet without her knowledge or alleged consent. Along with her claim of being taken to the hospital during the party. See the attached files for complete details. Only two more files to go. Let's see, Warren texted. to see if you knew your explosives and to see your incredible artwork. <laughs> I certainly can't use this. It's so dark. It looks like an oil paintings bill. Awful. More files? Look at this pile. Tumbleweeds. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. Uh, continues. His family's historical legacy at Blackwell Academy with a stellar academic record and a variety of extracurricular activities, including work with the Arcadia Bay Homeless Fund. Nathan is also popular with students and faculty. He stands as a proud representation of Blackwell. Yeah, he's definitely a bad Like guy. I'm not gonna read my own personal file. <laughs> Brief summary, Max, as she prefers to be called. So her name is Maxine. Is considered a quiet, attentive student with much potential for her photography. Her GPA fluctuates and she has acknowledged she should be doing better. Her teachers back up her quiet intelligence, though some complaints find her too nervous and nosy. Some faculty members would like Max to speak up more in class and be more assertive. Others would like her to be less so, but this is a common student suggestion rather than a specific recommendation. Update. Despite some recent confrontations with Blackwell security, Max showed herself to represent the very best of Blackwell Academy by stopping fellow student Kate Marsh from jumping off the dormitory roof yesterday. At this time, 
there is an ongoing police or faculty investigation by Max's heroism is undisputed. This file is going to be so spotless, a projectile vomit. Projectile vomit. Victoria Chase is the gold standard for Blackwell Academy, a student with a consistently high GPA and extracurricular activities that reflect her career goals in photography. Victoria also receives high marks from faculty for her devotion to the Vortex Club, among other organizations devoted to Blackwell spirit and history. 3.9, 2.8, 3.7. My GPA I have is to make uh, sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. <laughs> 4.0. Warren is considered an exemplary student and represents a long tradition of ex excellence in science at Blackwell. He has a gift or curse of gab depending on the faculty. Some have accused him of playing science pranks, but this is not confirmed by his science teacher, Ms. Grant. We hope Warren focuses his academic academic vision and continues towards his bright future. Let's nab this ba -ba -ba -ba. last file, Sherlock. Tumbleweeds. What? What? Like I'm not okay. gonna read my own personal file. Right here? Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. But there's not much here about the police investigation. Unfortunately, Ra Rachel Ember has stopped attending class for the past month and she's left no contact with students or faculty for the past month. Her parents are, at the present, unaware of her whereabouts and Blackwell hopes for her quick return to continue her academic excellence. Rachel Ember is the quintessential student representation of Blackwell Academy. She excels, excels in all of her studies and extracurricular activities, which are numerous popular with both students and faculty she has the de facto de facto qualities of scholarship and leadership that is a hallmark of blackwell's legacy her diverse goals include a career in international law and fashion modeling there is no doubt that rachel will achieve all of her dreams with blackwell as the fulcrum principal wells this is lieutenant Chris Rossi just wanted to let you know that Amber, Rachel Amber's investigation has officially been closed on our end. We always hope for that one magic clue, but once again, Arcadia Bay covers up another secret. We always keep our eyes and ears open, but that's all we can do for now. Covers up another secret? How can it be closed? You haven't found her. Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. <laughs> oh, I mean, I try, I try to, I do like reading out loud for some reason. I like reading in class and stuff. 1.7. Chloe Price is a problematic student at Blackwell despite the best efforts of the faculty and administration to guide her academically. Chloe does little homework and is often willfully belligerent do not know that word to her teachers she has caused numerous class disruptions with inappropriate comments and rude gestures to fe fellow students she was recently suspended for spray painting graffiti 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 Ugh, in the parking lot graffiti in the parking lot even though chloe is an intelligent student with potential she chooses to squander it on empty rebellion against a non-mandatory institution Intelligent student with potential. Chloe Price is no longer a student in Blackwell. So, what was Amber's GPA for? I counted the people before me and pre read what I had to read over and over. <laughs> I so, I got the three files. Here. Okay. I should go join Chloe now. Chloe, girl! I guess being a bully is in the Prescott DNA. Principal Wells, it's come to my attention the Prescott family crest has been removed from the library wall for no apparent reason. This local historical crest is required as per the donation terms to the library or the donation will be rescinded among others for the school. Along with that, I understand that the tragic event involving Miss Marsh gives you pause, but I would suggest that cancelling Thursday's party is not conducive to the can-do spirit of Blackwell Academy. I expect you to reconsider and come to the same obvious conclusion. Thank you, Sean Prescott. I'm going to talk to Chloe. Max, you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. 
if Rachel David's was the bad with Nathan Prescott, blowing. that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott the third. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Mm -hmm. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? The Prescotts wow. always get their money's worth. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. <sighs> it's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. <laughs> Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. What? No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do you always <laughs> include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? <laughs> Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I best know friendship. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Money. Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha ching Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's five thousand dollars here. I could pay Frank back tonight. You can't this steal will after our knife showdown yesterday. Are you gonna make a big issue out of this? Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself. I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. <laughs> you can't steal the money. Oh, you still? Nah. It can't be a police investigation now that we broke in and looked at the files. Like, we're gonna get in trouble if we steal the money, so we're gonna leave the money. You really wanna take money from the handicapped fund? Yeah, it's the handicapped fund. I know fund. you need to pay Frank back, but. I've got my power to protect you, right? There's a lot of power in that horse-choking wad of cash. But yes, Moral Max is right again. I guess. Let's get the hell out of this office, Morg. I know that money would have helped Chloe and me. Well, he was a really naughty, naughty boy. Mr. Hoida's intro to literature class on Tuesday, Nathan was sent back to his dormitory for the day without proper write-up for his files. Nathan has enormous potential but also erratic behavior patterns. They may need supervision beyond Blackwell's ability. The school cannot tolerate these disruptions, so we hope you will discuss this matter with Nathan to impress upon himself upon him the severity of this situation. Please see the attached files for the full reports expunged record. We received a rather outrageous and possibly slanderous letter from somebody in administration accusing Nathan of uncharacteristic erratic behavior patterns. We're certain this must be a mistake, otherwise we fear that we will take Nathan out of Blackwell to a more prestigious and better funded institution. Please respond with a copy of the expunged disciplinary warning report. So, I remember that Mrs. Hoida is depressed, so... Maybe she couldn't deal with Nathan anymore. <laughs> or she got kicked out or something. Uh. The following is a list of reported incidents involving Nathan Prescott. There seems to be a pattern of outbursts and confrontations followed by remorse and repentance. We suggest his parents remove him from the school and place him under expert psychological supervision. Throwing a desk in class, cursing at his English teacher, lighting firecrackers in the bathroom, stealing school supplies, threatening the school custodian, attempted theft on campus Tobanga statue. David Madsen and Nathan Prescott have both come to my office to warn me that Rachel Amber has been a drug mule in Mr. Madsen's talk radio terminology, acting as a front for another local dealer. Considering Rachel's exemplary status, I told David that I would need more concrete proof and he promised he had more to show. 
I was surprised to get his unscheduled unscheduled visit from Rachel Amber. She seemed quite upset and claimed that David Madsen was following her and taking photographs. David would deny this, and given the questionable company Rachel has been keeping, I'm not certain I can believe her right now. Damn. There's a letter there. That is so cool that my signature actually counted. Go, Miss Grant. Dear Ms. Grant, as principal of Blackwell Academy, it is my glad, happy, fortunate duty to inform you that your petition to block the installation of new surveillance system has received enough signatures for the school to reject the plan. It is not my policy to take sides in these matters, as we encourage the faculty and student body to participate in their school's operation. However, I did recognize this controversial nature of these cameras and shared your concern for possible invasion of privacy. Thank you for your passion and for inspiring Blackwell students to make their voices heard. I hope they will feel empowered by the outcome of your petition best principal wells cool you're not so tacky up close all right then let's get out of here that impish look scares me care for a midnight swim the blackwell pool is ours swimming you want to take that risk now it's been a cray week you didn't let me take that money to pay off Frank, so if he pops a cap in my skull, at least allow me to have a little carefree fun for a few minutes. Splish Splash? You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish Splash. Mm -hmm. Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. A good bad influence. We're in the otter's lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. Chloe is so psyched for girls' night out, so I better follow her evil plan. <laughs> girls' night out. Boys or girls? Let's go boys to the boys' locker room. Figures. Perv. Let me no. check to see if the pool's here. I'm not a perv. <laughs> oh, man, what am I gonna do? If only I could solve the mystery of the missing cat pics. This for my stolen backpack with school books and new tablet. I need this for class and my tablet has private pics of my late cats. So I will pay cash, a cash reward, no questions asked. If you have any details, I would like to return the backpack. You have my contact info now, please. I actually don't have the time to investigate this caper. Lost goggles. I mean, I'm a goofball and misplaced my flexi wave swim goggles. If found, eternal gratitude and a 25 dollar bean hip cafe gift card raise siren i guess somebody forgot their blackwell spirit i guess i should consider this evolution Dana, I know I'm an a-hole, but I still care about you. Love, Logan. Sex me Boys up. locker room is right. No worries, it's all bad. Sometimes. <laughs> Zach. No way jersey. am I touching Zach's jersey. Ew. Cell phone. Zach is really careless. Doesn't he know what happens when I'm around? Hey, thinking bad things about you. Cool, what are you wearing? Just my crystal necklace and phone. Hot, what are you wearing? I'm in locker room, only wearing a jersey, sitting on my football. Victoria and Zach? Yeah. Betty developed that in Jefferson's class. But why? He's in love with you, Max. Oh my god. E-cigarette. Some poor hipster lost their vape. 
sitting on my football, I know. <laughs> it's okay for Nathan to be hooked on these drugs, right? Mm, I don't know. Drugs are, you know, not that good. Especially if you mix them up. This must be for training kids. <laughs> Alright, are we done here? What is this? Oh yeah, the showers. This one is almost empty. The guys must like their pink goo. Max Caulfield, moral avenger. Or self-righteous hypocrite. Dana needs a baby daddy. Oh my god. Huh, Victoria nice loves the Victoria tea. loves something besides herself. Oh my god. I love Warren Graham. Gay Rem. Max is a feminazi. Oh my Welcome god. to nineteen fifty. Sixty nine reasons to bang Rachel. Bros will be bros. Here we are. Hey Chloe. Max, try to find the light for the pool. I want to see the sharks. Oh, Otters right. don't like sharks. They bite. So do I. Hit that light. <laughs> All right. Where are the lights? Lifeguard. Could it be here? I see a light. There has to be a control panel. In case I run out of air, I know where to come. Control panel. Here. Now I have the power over light and death. Pretty. Oh, she ready? Wait. Don't even think I'm gonna make a move on you. Yes, we get it. Otters. Coffee and swimming. Good combo. All right, let's go. What am I supposed to do? Oh! Time to do or dive, Max. Oh yeah, baby, feels like a hot tub. Too bad you made me feel like the queen of assholes because I wanted that cash stash. Queen of assholes. Tell me you're not gonna stand there watching me like a zombie. Come stop me, hippie. Okay, you asked for it. So nice. Oh, bunga. Oh. Why look, an otter in my water. Dun 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 dun. You are so <laughs> obvious. And I still get freaked out by that movie. So stop. <laughs> I can't even watch any of those shark shows. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I do have a fear <laughs> in the pool sometimes. Like I do fear like something's chasing me. I'll just it's such a weird fear. Minions. Otter's revenge. Cheater. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't know about that. I wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. We will. With all this stuff going on. I'm starting to think everything is related, and I want to find out for Kate's sake. She almost died today. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, <laughs> girlfriend. You know chicken what I mean. Shit. You're becoming like this force of nature. More like luck of nature. 
Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. Thanks to you, what if I had? Thank God. But what if I had? What if Kate didn't jump, but you would be dead? So it's time to start moving forward in time. And we're obviously connected since without me, you would have never discovered your power, right? That's true. Absolutely. You make me feel like I know what I'm doing. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. I hope so. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More than Rachel Amber? Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? And I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. You're the bro killer? Warren is nice, gross. Ah! Um... Ew, I don't want any Blackwell bros over me. There's a couple cute guys there, but they probably think I'm a total nerd. Uh, nerds are hot. You just don't have any confidence yet. Unfortunately, <gasps> that didn't come with my rewind power. No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're gonna make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. Now I'm getting cold in here. Because we're yapping instead of attacking each other, <laughs> otter versus shark style. I uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's check. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. Yeah, it's really sweet. Gross. I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. Yeah, you look cute like with your smell. hair soaked in chemicals. <laughs> Thanks. You would know. <gasps> Hi! It's David. Ah! Move, Max. Don't waste your power on getting busted. Oh, shit. Let's go, let's get out of here. Are you shitting me? <gasps> Who was he talking to? Dude, hide! Like when we were kids! I could use my power. Or just look for a hiding spot. Or both. Where? I can't see anything. <gasps> Fuck. Max, no room to go find another Anybody place to there? hide. Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. Oh, man. Where are they? Hey! <gasps> Gonna find me here. God damn it. Hey. That's gonna hurt. Where are they?
Where are they? Hello? Whew. <gasps> we are so invisible. Okay, let's get out of here, man. <laughs> Shit. You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer lives so I'll be safe? Uh, okay. Into the car. Get in. <laughs> Later, fuckers. Max, you rock. We are but so come on. Awesome. <laughs> yes, we so are. He totally knew that was your truck, though. <laughs> yeah, it's got a nice room. Always sure. remember this moment. Photo bomb. Photo hog. Mm. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. That's even though true. I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch. Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. I wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. <laughs> I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. Yeah, well, I'm gonna have to stop this and uh, get back to it. Thanks for joining! I do love the soundtrack. I'm gonna listen to I'm all so of it after I'm done with the game. Night. But it was awesome. I have to ponder what kind of criminal I've become. So last night was only the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> I have to admit, it was pretty cool to take over the Blackwell gym. Today the gym, tomorrow the world. We need to step it up. We still have to be careful how I use my power. I don't want to get stuck in time. 